Hello there everyone, it is me too here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will discuss more tips that will help you improve your defensive awareness. So as you guys know, this is the second part of this video and in this part we will discuss topics concentrating on individual positions. So let's get right into some in-game examples. As a defensive midfielder, you should work on the shadow covering. You need to block all those direct passes between the lines. Here, Scott McTominay was going to cover the space behind Fred as he was pushing forward to press the opposition. However, Scott noticed that the only passing option available was behind him, so covering the other area was not efficient. And so he changed his direction quickly to intercept the ball. If you are a forward, you can intercept a lot of balls easily by getting back in those areas since the opposition will play many lazy passes as you can see. So concentrate on reading the passes early and going for the lanes instead of the players. In this example, you can see how Raheem Sterling scanned behind his shoulder while moving back. Then later on when the opposition was pressed by multiple players, the only option he had was the player that Sterling saw during his scan. So without looking again, Sterling knew his position and was able to intercept the ball after reading the situation. As a fullback, you can intercept many switches of the play by keeping this distance between you and your marker. Work on having those steps ahead and try to read the situation before the switch is played. It's a little bit harder when the opposition is behind you, so you'll need to check your shoulders frequently while moving back to your position. Try to have some control on the ball after those interceptions, as giving the ball away in those areas might be dangerous sometimes. You should always keep track of any forward runs behind you when the opposition is trying to stretch your defensive line as well. Before we continue, I would like to thank Orange Football Network for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard about Orange Football Network yet, it's basically one of the best applications to have as a player or even as a coach. And guess what? It's 100% free. As you can see on the screen, they provide short videos with many tricks and analysis by top class coaches from around the globe. They work with coaches from Manchester United, West Ham, Real Sociedad, Valencia and much more. Make sure to use the link in the description to download it totally for free. So thanks again to Orange Football Network and let's get right back into the video. Let's say you are the only defender available. But guess what, you are running late compared to the attacker, they will reach the goal before you. Now if you try to go for them, it will most likely result in a goal. However, what you need to do is to go in between the ball and the net. You just want to block the lane. The attacker will be dealing with enough pressure. They will feel you coming so they will try to shoot quickly. Let's view some examples on this topic. So here Fabinho had this open net opportunity. While he took his first touch, notice how Rodri quickly moved to throw his body between the ball and the net. Now, in these cases, it's kind of obvious that you need to do so. But let's watch another example where the keeper is positioned correctly. As you can see, the defensive line was stretched out as the ball was on the side. No midfielders were around to support the defense, so Foden decided to exploit the spaces between the two center backs. Once Rudiger noticed that, you can see how he started moving towards the goal rather than covering Foden's run. So by the time Foden received the ball, Rudiger was in a good position to block the shot. As usual, I wanted to thank the Ukono Coaches Academy for making this possible. So this is a very good training drill for working on interceptions. You need two teams of three and two jokers. You will want to move the ball from one zone to the other. The spacing you need to perform this drill is on the screen. You can play it in two ways, either by passing the ball to the joker or dribbling past the other team into the next zone. After every three passes, the joker is allowed to move to one of these spaces. The reason behind this is that it will force the defenders to check the joker's position while moving, so it will improve the decision making on choosing where it will be best to block the passing lane while pressing the opposition as well. If you want to get more of these training drills and a lot of in-depth analysis, make sure to use the code MITSUJR to get your first 15 days for free using the link in the description. Let's get back to more in-game examples. 
If you find yourself behind the opposition, you will have a very high opportunity of winning the ball by these standing tackles, as the opposition will be focused on reading the player in front of them, so you'll see that the ball is not covered against you. This works really good when applying the high pressure. It will allow your team to counter the opposition very quickly as well. Just remember that going for the actions instead of the reactions will step your game up. In this example, Mbappe was marked by 5 players. Cancelo took the advantage of that and covered the only player available for a pass. He went for the passing lane and not the player. Let's have a look at this example. Trent Alexander-Arnold was not expecting his teammates to lose the ball, so he wasn't marking Gray. This is a mistake obviously, you should always be ready for the worst possible scenario. But let's see how he covered up his mistake. Now all the defenders are very far away. Trent wants to reach there as quickly as possible. Now the route matters here. Instead of going for the ball or even the player, he decided to sprint directly to reach that position faster. Then once he was beside Gray, he started moving to his right to have his body between the ball and the player. So he cut the passing lane at the end but did it from the other direction to reach there faster. This example is similar but a bit easier since the defender is already on the right side to cut the passing lane directly. Again here you don't want to play on the attacker, just focus on the ball and concentrate on the clearance. You do not want to give the opposition the ball back. As a centre back whenever you are in such a scenario where the opposition will receive the ball without any pressure between the lines, you can go for the interception. But you will only reach there in time if you read the situation before the pass was played. In this example, Joel Matip was forced to move outside. So Sterling tried to exploit the spaces between the center backs. Watch how Van Dyke reacts to this situation. As now Sterling decides to go behind Van Dyke, he changed his direction to cover this blindside run but also keep track of the ball. Notice how he is not sprinting or running at his max speed, just making sure that he has both options covered. Once he saw that the opposition will cross the ball, he stopped marking Sterling and concentrated on intercepting the ball and cutting the passing lane. This is what you need to do as a defender. Whenever the opposition is going to cross the ball, the number one thing that you need to do is to block the cross. Any corner will be better than the cross that they will be playing. Obviously, try to block it and keep the possession or go for the second ball. But the main focus here is to block the cross. Notice how Joao Cancelo stood up against Hakimi two times blocking the crosses until Man City kept the possession of the ball. If you want to know how to improve your defensive positioning and reading of the situation, part 1 covers that, so you can watch it just by clicking on the screen. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the analysis. Make sure to sign up for free right now at the Okono Coaches Academy using the code MITSUGR from the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.